This is the greatest question of all. How high do I tee my golf ball, right? Well, very simple. As high as you feel comfortable, sir or madam. Now, the one thing I would say is, the lower you tee it, the more you induce the downstrike. And we all know that hitting down a driver, unless you're my age and you've been brought with a persimmon up and you had to squeeze it to hit it, is a no-no. So what I would say is, tee as high as you feel comfortable. I would normally say you want about an in, uh, half an inch, an inch maximum above the top of the crown. These guys have got these great big stilt tees like this, where you're almost illegal and you're hitting up massively, you're inducing that real wide miss. So I tend to sort of say to people, but, but predominantly, pink is always pretty close. The white, if you like, get a bit squeezy on it and you're spooking yourself about getting a steep attack angle. And if you are a little steep on it, ting it lower is not a bad thing. It just means you induce that low on the face, spinnier miss. But if you use the orange tee and you're a little steep on it, that's when you see the Rambo scars on top of people's golf clubs because they're just coming down and they top edge it and pop it. So I wouldn't advocate the yellow unless you're a mini driver user, but I would definitely say tee as high as you feel comfortable. And then if you, over time you feel happy with say a pink or even a white, and then you move to a pink, try and get the indication that you're hitting up. A great story yesterday, guy came in, lovely man, slightly on the older side of life, squeezed it, faded it, hit it nowhere. So at that point, whatever you do for him, shaft or whatever, you're really not gonna get anything out of it because delivery was so poor. Trying to get him to hit up and understand that even if he gets to zero from negative two and a half, he's gonna be a better driver of the ball. And sure enough, he picked up 20 yards, even with his old driver, just by hitting that better. It's mechanics as well as product. Again, I'll come back to this parallel line theory. We are not the silver bullet. Buying a golf club does not necessarily give you the perfect golf swing. You can be the richest man in the world, you can't buy a golf game. You need to have mechanics that are suitable and product to match. I think Langer did a quote yesterday that, you know, if you have somebody who's got a great mental game, they are gonna be a good golfer. He said, no, 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 if my mechanics are, are good, I can be mentally horrendous, I'll still beat you. But if you have two guys that are similar in mechanics and technique terms, then the guy with the stronger mental attitude will overcome that other one. But if you've got just a great mental fortitude, but your mechanics are bad, the game will find you out. So you need mechanics. For those of you out there who don't have coaching or don't believe in coaching, I would argue strongly that Fitting is one part of the equation, but good mechanics are equally as important.